So we have June 2015, C2 legacy, um, not the IAL, the old legacy papers. Um, and it's a question on geometric sequences and series. It says all the terms of a geometric series are positive. The sum of the first two terms is 34. And the sum to infinity is 162. Okay, so we've got to find the common ratio and the first term. I guess that can be done in one kind of step together. All right, so now, first of all, they told us it's a geometric series. Okay, and they told us that it's positive, and the sum of the first two terms is 34, and the sum to infinity is 162. Okay, so a geometric series means it's a series of numbers where you have to multiply by the same factor each time to get to the next term. Okay, so it has a common ratio. The common ratio is a number um, divided by the number before it. So, for example, the first term, um, we don't know what it is, but we know the sum of the first two terms is 34. So let's call the first term x and the second term y. Okay, the first two terms. If you add them together, you get 34. Okay, so let's call the first term A, because that's what it's normally called. Okay, we know the common ratio is the term divided by the term before it. So we can say the common ratio is like Y divided by A. Okay, that's, that's another thing we can say. This is the first term, this is the second term. And the common ratio is Y divided by A. We also know the sum to infinity is 162. Now the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r. And we know that the common ratio must be, its magnitude must be less than 1. So it can be a fraction less than 1. Okay, the common ratio. So we have this bit of information here we can kind of link together. All right, I know when you add these together, you're going to get 34, the first and second term. I know that when you divide the first term and the second term, the second term by the first term, you get the common ratio. Okay, so what I could do here, and we know the sum to infinity is, is, is 60, is 162. So let's try and link all these bits of information together to make some sort of an equation where we can, for example, here I can say y is equal to 34 minus a. So I've expressed y in terms of a. Okay, that's one thing I've done. I know the common ratio is y over a. Okay, so I can express this common ratio as y over a. So let's, let's look at this. We know that a over 1 minus r is equal to 162. So A is equal to 162 times 1 minus R. R is the same as Y over A. So let me make that Y over A. Y over A. Okay, let's make that into one fraction. So A is equal to 162. That's going to be A minus Y. Now I can replace this Y with 34 minus A, can I not? Because y is 34 minus a. So we can continue on here. We can say a is equal to 162 times a minus. Now we know that uh, y is 34 minus a. We're told that y is 34 minus a. So I can replace the y with 34 minus a. And that's over a. Let me multiply both sides by a to get rid of this a here. So you have a squared equals 162 times a. You've got minus, minus A, that's going to be 2A, and minus 34. Okay, so you have A squared equals 162 times 2A. 160 times 2 is 324A. And you're going to have minus 34 times 162. Let's just use a calculator for that. So we'll make sure 162 times 2. 324a, yes, and then you've got six, 162 times times 34, or negative 34, we'll give you negative, negative 5,508. Okay, so we see we've got a quadratic here. So we can make the quadratic, we can bring everything to one side, minus 324a, and plus 5,508 equals zero. Now we can use the formula... We can factorize, but factorizing here is going to be difficult. We could use a formula, but really what you could actually do here, and there's no problem if you do this, is you could use um, 
of this function in your calculator. I would advise you maybe to write down as if you're about to use a formula just to show your steps and then you can just go straight to your menu whoops go menu okay um i think it's nine okay yes equation so you've got a polynomial which is of order two quadratic so you put in the coefficient of a of the x squared which is a squared which is one and you press equals then negative 324 coefficient of the x term which is a term here and then the constant which is 5508 okay you put all those values in and then you press equals it will give you one solution which is 306 so you can say a is equal to 306 don't forget the other solutions a is equal to press equals again 18 okay now i know for sure it can't be, this can't be the, the right answer because I know that when I add the first two terms I get 34 and they're both positive. Okay, so all the terms are positive. So there's no way I can have the first two terms adding up to 34 and 306 is the first term. It must be 18. So the first term is definitely 18. Now the common ratio is equal to the second term t divided by the first term. Okay. So you're going to have um, the common ratio is y over a. Okay. Now we know a is 18, and we know that y is 34 minus 18. Okay, 34 minus 18. So you got 18. That's 28, and that's 10, 16. Right? 18 plus 16 is 34. So we know that the common ratio is going to be y, which is 16 over a which is 18. Uh, what's common in these two? Uh, 8 over 9. Yeah? 2 is common. Divided by 2, divided by 2. So the common ratio is 8 over 9 and the first term is 18. The first term is 18. Okay, and there we have our answer. Okay, that's for part um, a, 5, 1 part A and B, okay? I'm going to come to uh, the next part in the next video. Thank you for paying attention and watching.